Howdy, good morning. Today I'll be taking over the next gen T on uh, Instagram. So before I get started, let me go clean up. I just woke up and then come back to you guys. And we're back. Howdy everyone, my name is Gary Sai. I'm an application security engineer, and today I'll be taking, Insta taking over Instagram to show you guys the day in life of an AppSec engineer, part of cybersecurity. So without further ado, let's get the ball rolling. Now, being an application security engineer is different than being a network security engineer. An application security engineer, we operate at layer seven, the application layer. Network security engineer mainly focusing on uh, layer three, layer four, or maybe even beyond that. I don't know, I'm not one of them. So we work closely at the application layer and we work very closely with our software developer and our software engineer. Why is that? Because um, they are the one that build the code and they are the one that know the product in and out. So it's, it's very crucial to for us to have a good relationship with our software engineer. Um, and with that, they will pretty much uh, help us along to better secure the product going forward. Part of my project as an AppSec engineer is to provide security to our API. If you want to learn more about API and what is API security, check out the next two story. And also, if you want to learn more about API security or AppSec in general, check out OWASP.org in the top. Here, I'm going to demonstrate what is uh, API security. But before I talk about API security, it is critical to know what is API. API stands for Application Programming Interface. Uh, in a more in a non-computer way to explain explaining API, Exu assuming you are going to a uh, immigration office and to apply for passport. Now, when you apply for passport, you will need a social security number, okay, and the, the actual document. Um, you will need a picture of yourself. You will need a birth certificate or a naturalization form, uh, the certificate, and you will need a fingerprint along with some other document. You send that through the office and office will take that Okay, and they will process in the background. Three or four days later, you will get a come back to the office, and there you go, you have your passport. Now, this is how API works. So, in terms of API security, assuming I'm going to do the same thing with the um, post office, but with the immigration office to apply for password, I'm going to submit a picture of myself, a birth certificate, a fingerprint. And instead of my social security number, I'm going to sacrifice one of my cookie. I'm going to give a cookie. I'm going to send that to the office. With that, I would, the office would process all this document and then would be like, oh, I don't know what to do with a cookie because office are the server backend of the API. They are not so smart. So in this case, it might react differently. It might crash. It might shoot up some sort of value, some sort of error, or it might, that cookie could be some sort of malicious payload. For the, from the attacker to inject into the server. So therefore, API security comes in to make, make sure those things does not happen. Now, what you guys are looking at right now is a Docker Compose file. Now, this file will generate a database, a web server, and an application that will run within the web server for me. Now, before I deploy this uh, Docker Compose locally to my computer, I will inject the security tool somewhere along right here. Okay, so it will deploy along with the application uh, that I'm trying to protect. So, um, let's see how that goes. Awesome, I think the application is being built right now, building it slowly, so... Uh... We'll come back to you when it's finished. I know this is too good to be true. Um, my application was able to be detected, being alive, being run. However, the security agent, the security tool that I'm trying to test, I'm not getting any data after sending some, uh, some ping requests. But I know this is too good to be true because the application is not getting any connection from my ping requests. It's been a while now. So I always say it's a no-go. There's some troubleshooting. I think I found out the issue. The issue is not on the application itself. The issue is the security software, the security agent that is having issue communicating back out to the um, server. Um, so with that, I will need to schedule a, uh, a call with the uh, security product engineer over the other side and to find out the root cause, to confirm the root cause. Okay, the meeting is scheduled with the engineer and an hour or so will be uh, tackled that issue together. The issue is confirmed uh, about why can I, the communication cannot reach outbound. Uh, that, 
the build of the process for the application along with the security agent is built successfully. However, the communication from the agent trying to reach outbound are being sent to nowhere because um, we initially set this thing up under a certain network. Um, so I would need to look for, I guess, an alternative way to test this thing other than making some big network change just to test this uh, feature. So, yep, a lot of work ahead, lots of work ahead. Let me, let me get creative. I'm going to take you guys and show you guys the next phase of my testing. Let's take a look. What I'm about to demonstrate to you guys is, is a different way to install this security agent uh, into the application which I'm trying to protect. Now, MT um, JCart is the application which I'm trying to protect. Now, uh, I have installed this using a Helm chart, a Helm approach, meaning I'm a way to orchestrate the, my cluster deployment. So I have installed it about a couple of hours ago. So yep, the agent is uh, the application is running along with the agent. So therefore, you will see two instead of one. Uh, now let me make some uh, requests. I'm going to ping the application, uh, send some application, application traffic into it, and it is successful. I was able to ping it. So now coming in to my UI which I was able to see some data and right here v3 ping so this approach uh, of installing this security agent works just not the initial approach it's too dirty too dirty um, now we have a stand up I guess maybe like James and Raymond do you guys want to stay on and talk about uh, the sound sure. yep. <laughs> okay cool thanks everyone thank you bye bye, bye. Thank you. no I didn't have lunch yet You've been sleeping all day. Remote life can be lonely. Been poking around this uh, big project API security for a while throughout the day. I think I'm getting bored of it, and I'm going to take a different track and show you guys my side project. Now it's a scanner. Okay, it scans for vulnerable vulnerable usage or vulnerable library, vulnerable basically vulnerable code. Um, so far, it does the job. But uh, what 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 my responsibility for this thing is to set this thing up, um, scan our entire. Um, repo or repository our company repository to look for vulnerabilities so far it's not working but we get there here is uh, an attack being performed on our application server what you're seeing right now is some form of scanner um, setting up a bunch of our regular um, or irregular queries against our application and of course those queries those parameters does not exist in our application so therefore we will get full full response from the application now this will take a hit against our application server now why is it important for us to have a good relationship with our software developer it's important for us for me as an AppSet engineer that i can now have a meeting with them discuss what could be the potential fix what will be the con what will be the pros and cons with this fix so yep um the meeting starting in three minutes catch you later Okay, now is the end of my work day. Um, I had so much fun taking over the Instagram for you guys that I forgot to eat lunch. With that being said, I had I need to make a very important call with the woman in my life and um, catch you guys later. Oh, she's on. Hey grandma, I think I'm getting famous for the wrong reason. Jacob Hess here. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I'd also like to remind you, if you're truly serious about your career in information technology, be sure to check out our IT engineer training programs at www.zerotoengineer.com.